Welcome back. In this video, we're going to explore the different validation modes available in React Hook form. By default, when you submit the form, React Hook form will check for any validation errors and display them accordingly. This is the default behavior and works well in most cases. However, React Hook form also allows you to change the validation mode by passing an option called mode to the use form hook. The mode option determines when the validation should occur. By default, the value of mode is set to on submit. You can change the validation mode to, let's say, on blur. When you set the mode to on blur, React hook form will trigger validation when you focus and then blur out of a form field. Focus and blur out. Once you fix the error and blur out of the form field again, the error message will disappear. That is the on blur mode. Another validation mode you can use is on touched. When you set the mode to on touched, React hook form will trigger validation on the first blur event and after that, on every change event. This means that if you focus and blur out of a form field, you will still see the error message. However, once you start typing, the error message will disappear, allowing you to correct your input without seeing the error message constantly. Now, React Hook form also provides the on change mode. And this mode triggers validation on every change event. Which means that as you start typing into a form field, let's say an email address, React Hook form will continuously validate the input. Be careful when using this mode as it can lead to multiple re-renders and impact performance. Lastly, there is mode all, in which case, React hook form will trigger validation on both blur and change events. This means that you will see the error messages when you focus and blur out of a form field, as well as when you make changes to the input. This mode provides a combination of both on blur and on change validation modes. When using React Hook form, it's essential to choose the right validation mode based on your specific requirements. If you want validation to occur only when the form is submitted, you can stick with the default on submit mode. If you want validation to occur when a field is blurred or touched, you can use on blur or on touched mode. If you want validation to occur on every change event, you can use on change mode, but be mindful of the potential performance impact. And if you want a combination of both on blur and on change modes, you can use the all mode. React Hook form provides different validation modes that give you flexibility in how and when validation occurs in your form. By understanding and choosing the right validation mode, you can enhance the user experience and ensure that the form data is accurate and valid. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.